percent of rapes are actually reported. Okay, where's that? To the cops. From? Where's that? It's from? from all of the women's organizations. You can look it up online. You can find it through the that socialized you're not gonna find organizations that study rape. I participate with an organization that works as a rape crisis center. We base that on the number of calls. The police know based on the unofficial reports, the third party reporting, and the direct reports. This is not a secret that about 10% of rapes are reported. So, how do you know 10% of rapes are reported if the others aren't? Because those people call the women's centers, they ask for help, they seek medical attention. So they are reported. <laughs> yeah, I got you on that one there. Got you on that one there. Why are you flipping me off, bro? Why are you taking my picture, bro? Because there, there should be housing for you. I don't want housing. Then, so what do you want? Just no. to sit here then? Yeah. It's my country, ain't it? Yeah, but this isn't sanitary. We all live here. What, what gives you more right than me? It's unsanitary. Look! What do you mean? You should want better for yourself. <laughs> I like it like this. I like, I like it, it like this. No, I, I got you, but I we like all have to like somebody's handicapped and they need to get by. They can't. They got 36 inches. Somebody <laughs> on a mobile bike can't get through here. They got 36 so inches. So your freedom's more important than somebody else's. 36 fucking inches. No, see, this is the problem. You think you're more important than somebody else. I wanted to sit here and talk to the homeless guy and hold up traffic. Maybe somebody's got to go to the hospital. You see that? You see how that guy just expects. He just thinks that he is more important than everybody else. This is the sense of entitlement. Amazing, folks. Absolutely amazing. The Don't you miss being able to make feel. fun of each other in like a feel-good way? Go watch the old stand-up comedians. They would walk in. They'd be on stage. They would just literally, you could not survive. You were Chinese, you're getting right. a joke. You're black, of you're getting course. a joke about your, and everyone right. is being offended and everyone's right. laughing. And when they walk out, right. they're closer. 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 Because you need, to have, agree you need to have right. it taken out. You do. Not, you're not now that, when, you're, when you're walking on eggshells. Yeah. See, I can't make a joke because if, if it's taken the wrong way. We've got to issue an apology. If it's right. taken, it's like, and that way we don't get closer. Yeah. We never get closer. We never right. get closer. And I'm, I it's, still it's keep terrible. that in my friendships. I make fun of my friends so for I'm like oh well it's because you're black or that because you're Spanish oh it's you're Jewish and that and that is why we are so close because we are able to that is actually also, how people and it's not come to say together. that racism still does, never doesn't doesn't go exist. away there's always going to be stupid people. like like there will all be criminals yes exactly it's, the people are dumb we get that right Bill Maher having a lucid oil. moment what do you mean just stop oil all your stuff is made out of oil you idiots your clothes these jackets they're all made out of oil what the hell are you doing here making a nuisance of yourselves? You tell him, buddy. What a joke. What are you doing here? Get out the road. You're wasting everybody's time and petrol. All these guys, their engines are running all the time, wasting more bloody oil, you nutters. What is this made out of? What are your clothes made out of? How did your clothes get here? They got here by oil. What are you doing? This makes no sense at all. Just stop oil. You haven't thought about this. If you want to stop oil, you need to stay at home and go and live in a forest. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. He's just stop oil people. Some of the most stupidest, idiotic, moronic retards that you're ever going to see. Look at this guy here. He's You've really restarted, fair enough. Let me just stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you... <laughs> I the love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You love Good. The mansplaining you get a mans that's mans going Mansplain it, baby. What's, what are you well, doing? just talking mans me through it. how... how yeah, because you're you, an idiot. By not answering the question what are you, what are you, what are you by repeating suggesting? processes which are not what related are you to the question that I've asked. What's mansplaining, Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest is that way what, to do is it... What, is that <laughs> well, what you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that.
So the easiest by, by, way to deal with this is not, is, not to, is not to imagine Senator is not to to have that way in responding to questions of us. Imagine, if I, imagine of the us. reaction, Senator. Yes. If I said you were woman splaining, you are woman splaining. You're saying that I'm man Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by who? Is it by, by who? Rude, it is a term that's used by rude. Doesn't doesn't make by rude senators. By senators who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself you appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is it is a word that's used. Uh, it's it's a used by I'm women. Surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. That trans women who have been on hormones for between one and three years, depending on the organisation, have the same competitive abilities. That's that the study that you're referencing had like. Seven people participated. That's misinformation, not, by the way. I'm referencing mis- several different studies. I'm a trans woman and a researcher. It's getting this, personal. This I don't want it to be personal. A lot of personal. us live in this space where we're told that our sure. opinions don't count because they're not the right kind of opinions, and we're constantly shouted over and talked over, regardless of what we look like, because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating so yeah of course it's 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 frustrating because when we try to talk about it we get shouted down we get told to be quiet we we get we get spooked down too as well so okay, there's hostility there for plenty of women let's try to make this an opportunity to speak you're literally a white woman then. from australia you live in a bubble and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard that's why they have the voice because they speak someone who disagrees you disagree with the Romney Ryan shirt? Cool. Ryan, Ryan I'm going to have a look at this right there. I like it. It's ironic. I think it's pretty funny. But um, so you're very um, against kind of you're very like you're not a huge fan of socialism and kind of getting that vibe. Here's so a feminist, is, folks, a questions. blue haired feminist. What is uh, in America? Like, what is your vision? What is your perfect idea of health care? Because in the UK, we very much like our socialized health. No, they don't. Like, you, you don't know, like you it. What are you there? talking about? So, like, uh, what is your vision for perfect health care in your so in your like Mad Max kind of small government world like Mad what? Max yeah, yeah that's what it Mad feels Max. like kind of like a wasteland like no government you know I know it's not like that at all you, but you, you, ever, know. you ever heard of LASIK eye surgery before yeah so how is LASIK eye surgery regulated in the states I'm not sure how is in the it? Mad Max world tell me <laughs> well in the Mad Max world that yeah. you're trying to fear monger um yeah it's not covered by insurance I know it's not true but it's just like a so it's in, it's in the private market so I would like I'd like the U.S. healthcare system to work how the LASIK eye surgery industry has worked over the last 10 years where it's a vital organ, not covered by insurance, not covered by government hospitals, not covered by Medicaid, and not covered by Medicare, where it's a cash-only transaction. So over the last 10 years, the most amazing medical advancements around LASIK eye technology have stemmed from America, and the price has gone down dramatically. So it used to be $20,000 per eye, now you can get it $750 per eye. It used to be a three-week recovery time, now it's a 48-hour recovery time. It's a vital organ, so there's the arguments that somehow this is not necessary, there's not a high level of precision, gets completely and totally dismissed. The market works no matter where it is, whether it be in healthcare, food, transportation, housing, technology, communication. So I want free marketplace. Market I want health, Absolutely. healthcare to be bought across state lines in the states. I want a government that does not pick crony favors of hospitals that make big contributions or drug companies that have the right lobbyists or trial lawyers that have proximity to Capitol Hill. The market works no matter where it is tried in the states. It's a totally screwed up system because it's half cronyist, half government run, and it's, um, it's, there are some really good parts of the U.S. healthcare system if you can afford it. We have the best treatment if you can afford it. You roll your eyes. How do you get things to, for more people to afford things? Through competition. We do not have that in the U.S. healthcare. So we solve half the equation. Half the equation is quality. The rest of the world benefits from the U.S. medical advancements every single year, whether it be, whether it be heart monitor machines, whether it be pharmaceutical breakthroughs. Ninety percent of the most... In- but what the difference was then than it is now is that before you had babies, you got married. So you have the father and the mother in the home. And while the father's out earning a living, the mother was watching over his children. These and people so look at Jesse like he's absolutely from another planet. We didn't have planet. government in our lives at the time. And so we were able to do that. And in America, we were not allowed all these illegal aliens and refugees you tell to them, come Jesse. into our country. Yes. So our government were not taking care of folks from other parts of the world and the families in America, we took care of ourselves. I think you've pretty much pissed off everybody. <laughs> um, but he you, did. you said, you, you said love there's it, not love it. anything you've heard that you don't think is crap. So what do you think? I think you said do. what you don't. You know, folks, even I think Dr. Phil has moved a little bit left of center. 
he was taking some positions on transgenderism that I just found absolutely remarkable that he actually took those positions, I guess, trying to be, you know, playing the middle of the road fence so that he still, you know, doesn't get the animosity or the vitriol that would come his way if he completely basically said transgenderism is just completely, you know, BS, that it is, um, you know, gender dysphoria and it needs to be treated. And this whole thing with pronouns and many men can become women and women can become men. And all this is just a bunch of garbage. Jesse comes on the show, literally tells it like it is. And Dr. Phil says, yeah, yeah, you're pissing everybody off, basically. You know what? When you tell the truth nowadays, you do tick off people. Telling the truth will tick and piss off a bunch of people by telling the truth. Telling lies will also piss off and tick off a lot of people as well. But you're going to tick off a lot more people by telling the truth, Ruth. And that's why... You've, you've got to make a stand. You've got to decide. That's what all these virtue signaling woke, you know, SJWs that get owned. Every single one of them is out there polishing their halo before they go to bed at night so they can put it on their head when they walk out in the morning and be looked upon by everybody in the world, in their community, their friends, their colleagues, you know, their family as wow. We have feeling and empathy for everything. We are such good people and we want to make it equal for everybody. So listen to us. And they speak for people that are not even in their community, perhaps not even their ethnicity, their religion, their race, nothing like that at all, folks, nothing. But they still go out there being SJWs, being woke, talking about things that have nothing to do with their the themselves to begin with in many cases and virtue signaling from high atop their perches to everybody else below with their nose up in the air, drinking tea with their little pinky and everything. I mean, come on, folks. We all know these guys get owned when the logic hits them squarely between the ears. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel, like, share, and follow us. If you like our content, let us know in the comments below. Share what you think. Are you a wokester or social just warrior? Have you polished your halo and ready to go out tomorrow? Let us know. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.